Another chapter in the history of the Essendon Football Club. Alistair Clarkson goes to North Melbourne and Essendon are left in a, in a strange position. Where are we, Sam? Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. Thank you for joining us on your lunch break. It is very most kind oh, of it's you. It's just they're showing the commitment, Sam. But where are we? Well, that's what we're here to talk about. So yeah. unless if you're here, you know what's happened. Um, Clarkson chose North this morning. Um, and then since then, we've been probably slandered from pillar to post about how poor we've handled Ben Rutten and the whole situation. And we're here to have a little chat, half an hour or so, just to say what we think and how we feel about the whole scenario. So you're listening as we speak to some news that Rutten's future will be decided post round 23. Is that correct? Yes. Um, Dave, a new man, Dave. Oh, yeah, Dave. David. Dave. 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 Okay. He's um, speaking at the moment about, and I've, the only little bit I've caught on it was because, um, you know, poorly timed thing that we're doing right now. Mm, yeah, um, <laughs> oh, excuse me. We maybe should have went for the 12.30 time. Um, is saying we that like he's indicating that although we 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 seeked out information from um, Clarkson, it doesn't sound like we went balls to the wall chasing him. Okay. So, and this is, I guess, the the main thing about how you and I feel mm. about this whole situation is well, for me, but I'll speak for myself and then you can speak for yourself. Yep. I would be disappointed in my football club. If we didn't at least ask the question, if we are sitting there, the board, the, the, the CEO, whatever, and they're not happy with the current coach. Yep. I would Which, be annoyed if they were not happy with the current the season. Yeah. If they weren't asking the question of one of the best coaches to have coached in the last, probably the best coach to coach in the last 10, 15 years. 20, yep. If they're not asking the question, then there's, that's that's wrong. That's bad. And that question might even be, are you interested in a director of football role? Like, mm. There's so many que- It's not just will you coach. It's also what, what roles are you interested in? Yep. Well, it could have been any conversation. But mm. if they're not at least having that conversation in, at the same time that they're not happy with the current situation, then that would be a negative, in my view, on the club. We would we would can them for that. It's a bit of a damned if you do, a damned if you damned don't. Damned if you don't. Situation. The, yep. s- the second bit here is that, and there's a little bit of um, audio we heard from Adam Ramanaskis before about how truck on Monday and how he handled that and not knowing if he'd been sacked or not. The key element there for me is that it's media. Yeah. The media reported that he'd been sacked. No one from the club said he'd been sacked. No one no. official said he'd been no. sacked. No it board members. No. Three AW. Channel 7 re- then reported that, and that was it. Yep. So the whole shitstorm around how we've treated truck is media-driven. From the media, not... Not saying that the, the club has been perfect in that, but... Probably not, no. But the club... Like, so the thing I don't get, this is the thing I've been saying for a while now, is that why would we be interested in Clarkson? Because realistically... Seven weeks ago, eight weeks ago, when Melbourne, uh, sorry, when North Melbourne and GW sacked their coaches, we were sort of playing okay footy. We we came into that period where we started, we beat um, like St Kilda and but then St Kilda, we, Sydney, Brisbane. Yeah, and then and things were looking pretty good there. We got to the Collingwood game, we lost that, and we should have probably won that. I think we'll agree with that. If Harry Jones kicks that, yeah, we, we win, win another one. Right. We beat another yep. top four team, and then we play GWS, and it's pretty ordinary, like. Very ordinary. They probably should have beaten us by more. And then we're atrocious against Port. So, but for seven or eight weeks, I, I couldn't imagine that during that period when we're playing good footy that we're off talking to other coaches. I, I don't. No, and that's, but that's the thing. And that's what the media reports or the, what yep. you hear around the traps, supporters, probably more than media, but we need to be more ruthless. We need to be yeah. more ruthless. Well, guess what? That was ruthless. We yeah. <laughs> made a decision to allegedly go talk to Alistair Clarkson and say, hey, bro, what, what are you doing? And it was probably too late. It was. But for yeah. the reason you just said, in that mm. the St Kilda, Brisbane, Collingwood, Sydney, well, that's it. Those games. Yeah. We saved Even the weeks, we went, a couple of weeks before with, against Carlton, we were half decent. We were okay against them. We were okay mm. against Port. And you went, eh, well, maybe we're all right. I yeah, certainly said that and went, yeah. maybe we're all right. So... <laughs> I would be more disappointed, I think, if we didn't at least ask the question, given the calibre of Clarkson. Mm-hmm. Now, he's gone to North. That's fine. I I was in Camp Clarko. You weren't. That was... I just want to see a coach that will not put up with bullshit from players. 
that's not to say I want truck sacked or anything, but yeah, I agree north, with that statement. I, I don't north, want... sorry, us and North had the same reasons. Takes the blowtorch off for the next two or three years, particularly for them, maybe five years, hmm. because Clarko's got a plan. Right, yep. that's all that it's going to be. Clarko's got a plan; it'll be fine. The media we will not question them like, for years. We would have looked like more dickheads had that failed. If Clarko doesn't bring North out of that, they're not going to look quite as stupid as what we would have looked if that failed for us. Throughout this whole thing, we are on a flogging to nothing because, like, realistically, though, though, though if we if we don't go after Clarkson, we're seen as like you know not um, ruthless. Not be ruthless. If we do go after Clarkson, we're assholes to Rutten. Yeah. You know, like, and there's there's no perfect scenario in this. And no, and, and I agree with the, I agree with what the facts are at the moment. The facts are that we have um, possibly forced our uh, CEO, to, not CEO, sorry, our president of the board to stand down. I think he was pressured to do that or voted out, which then has forced the external review under Dave. Dave wants an Dave. external review. Davey. Try to get Dave on one day. <laughs> Dave. And um, which I think is the right thing to do. An internal review, I don't think, would have really done anything. And to be honest, we should have started an external review at mid season, you know, when things were pretty piss poor back then. That would have been the right thing. Start an Correct. external review there and Correct. got to the end of the season, and handed over that review and said, here's what the review has said. And this is the enormous silver lining of mm. Alistair Clarkson going, I'm going to go back to North. North, get a good coach. And a chance to rebuild themselves. That's great for the game. Great for you get to have a rivalry with we, them. They get to still think we have a rivalry with them. Yep. Um, but we get a chance to play our game of football on Saturday night. Say goodbye to Hurls. Love you, Hurls. Love you. And then do it properly. Review. Yeah. Finish properly review. Properly review the football club. Properly review truck. Properly review Xavier Campbell. Mm. And go, are these the right people in the right jobs? Yes, no. If they're not, well, then we need to go to market and look at a new coach. And or, we'll say, yeah, or you just cost us a lot of money. Yep. But. Or that you say to truck, well, we'll give you some more resources in that we think there's some of your problems are around here and here and here. We'll give you resources in that. And you have one more year in your contract to show that those resources and that's are, what are going to improve you. Or this fact of the matter is in three years, your contract runs out and you're gone. Yep. And, and then we go the back to the marketplace. Yep. The review might say, look, we, we really think you need another senior assistant coach next to you that's done it before, like a Nathan Buckley that we've talked yep. about or someone like that. James Heard. <laughs> we'll get to him. Um, <laughs> He's coming home, Sam. He's the media, coming home. The media will always, always He's coming home. He's coming home. <laughs> well, well, that's not England, don't worry. Um, the media will always want to report that Essendon are basket cases, that Essendon have done it wrong, Essendon have stuffed up, made a mistake, done whatever. Yeah, exactly. The narrative is going to be Essendon's lost Clarkson, when in reality, GWS lost Clarkson GWS because they did. were actually in the real hunt for him. We probably came too late. Yep. And oh, we've all done that. <laughs> Moving on. It's a lunchtime show. Um... <laughs> Actually, if you're just the nurse, not too late. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, don't worry. No, it's never too um, late. I forgot where I was going with that. Um, it's not. Um, it's not. It's not as bad for the <laughs> football club as it seems. Trucks handled himself phenomenally well, from what I've seen. The videos yeah. around the Hurley yeah. news. It seems like nothing's happened, and I know it would be fucking hard for the man, but he's handled. But welcome himself to with, senior AFL football. That's part of the job. It is a little bit, yep. but he's handled himself with a good deal of. Um, What's the word? Not grace. Um, like dignity. Hmm? Dignity. Dignity. Integrity. Integrity. He's kept yeah, that. Good one. Good word. Um, but I hope to Christ that this external review will at least it gives him the confidence that he's the right man, or we go down that path of he's not, and then we'll yeah. look at replacing. Because look at how our last couple of coaches have came about since heard. So seven years to the day, apparently, since we mm. sacked heard. And that was, um, so that was Worsfold. So then Worsfold got the job. For 2016, beautiful. I think Worsfold was a good good idea, good coach for that season. We certainly, his learnings, he said learnings a lot. He did, he did, but that's okay. Oh, um, there'll be learnings. Daniel Kerr, I think, said about Worsfold that he's the 
best leader of men, but maybe not the most tactically sound coach. Well, we probably saw that. And but that's what we needed in 2016, leader of men, right? Get through that season. And possibly then we should have done that whole um, next step assistant coach, but do it properly. I think we ended up in a scenario where we ended up with Truck at the club, Carousella, whoever else was there at the time, and Truck was the natural option. I would love to know how much of a process well, went in behind Truck being Well, this is, and this is the yeah. thing. The, at one point, we all thought Truck was going to be great. And whoever mm. appointed him and yes. put him into the position saying you're going to be a, a senior coach next, they obviously thought it as well. So maybe we've just lost that a little and we need to get back that. Well, maybe, but what what process did we go through? Did we go and we talk didn't. to some other club or other coaches at other clubs and say, hey, maybe, I don't even know, Craig McRae, who's now at Collingwood, maybe four years ago, three years ago, he was available. And was there a process? Was no, it a competitive process or did we identify truck as... Because he came on as an assistant from Richmond and with this sort of this future belief that he would just be appointed as the next senior yeah. coach. And I don't like that. You can think that, but you still have to go through proper process. At the time, did we question it? No, and that's the beauty of hindsight. But So it's our fault. It is our fault. It's everyone's fault. It's your fault. It's my fault. But this gives us that chance. This gives us the chance to do proper process. Oh, God, I've just refreshed and there's a thousand comments. Well, let's um, read some. What's the people saying? <laughs> So Jamie, before we went live, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I thought summed it up pretty well. Um, considering he said nothing in that presser, would have been better saying more about the attempt or saying nothing at all about it. Tend to agree with that. I think as a football club, you shouldn't comment where there's nothing to comment on. Yep. So well, we yeah, shouldn't have to comment on rumors from the media, media all the correct. time. Otherwise. That's right. And that's why I say you yeah. shouldn't comment on something. And, and all the, like it went berserk like Monday, she's, oh, we've met with Clarkson. Oh, Clarkson, yeah, we're meeting. Yeah, they're, oh, they've met with his man. Oh, it could have just been they rang him. And seriously, how far in were North Melbourne on Monday if they've appointed him on Friday? Like they would have been probably had him signed up by about yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have like, been. Seriously. Yeah. They told, he told them yesterday. So that's what their release, press release, you know, he signed the contract yesterday. So they would have known 24, 40 hours before that, that it's all happening. But they were, uh, you know, cold to keep it quiet. I feel like we've missed a bit from missing that press conference. But anyway. Um, well, what have they said? Well, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Mm -hmm. The presser was a joke as if the internal review is going to be focused on comparing us to other clubs such as Geelong and why they've won so many prelims over a consistent, have they? Over a consistent period. As if they bad were doing all actually. that already, and that no positions are being reviewed. If positions aren't reviewed, it's going to be difficult for meaningful cultural change to occur. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that too. And that's, I would have thought I that in an external review that those things would be all looked at. Of our issue is culture. Yeah. Um, the other elephant in the room, and I'm not talking about myself hey. or you, um, <laughs> is James Head. And we fantasized, I guess would be a word. Oh, I fantasized um, a lot about time. Heard on Monday night when we sat here. Beautiful and man. The Herald Sun have now posted an article that it, it it's 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 a possibility. Obviously, that's just the Herald Sun, right? That's it's media, well, that's Mark it's Robinson, who's but, a James Heard fan, I mean, which understandable. So, all right. First and foremost, yes or no for you as a senior coach. I don't okay. care. In the comments, I yes don't care. I, I, senior coach, please. Yeah, I don't care. Seriously, I, I I love the man too much. I still would argue that we were a better team under him when he coached us in that those periods. We had a pretty good win loss ratio. I don't yeah. think we had a brilliant team at that time, but well, he was that's doing what things I was ta tactically and to. and uh, motivationally, if that's the word. Mm, he's a motivating kind of guy. Yep. Um, that I think... win over. I remember the win in Freo. That was 2013. So 11, 12, 13. Yep. And I'm leaving out 2015 to suit my own cause here because we fell off the rails completely. Yep. He had a 55% sure. win ratio. Yep. Uh, over those Seems three pretty seasons. good. We were 6-0 in 2013. We had 14 wins in 2013, which would be the most amount of wins we've had in a season since at least 2002, I would yep. think, if not before. Um. I don't remember that team being full of superstars. Like, it wasn't a great list, but what he did 
and I'll die on the hill that he's a good coach. I know what happened. I was there. Can't tell an opposition supporter that he's a good coach, but he was a good coach. Hurley played back and forward when we needed it. Hooker, maybe less so. Jake Carlisle played forward and back when yep. we needed it. He was a great defender and then went forward and he kicked eight goals against Collingwood and North, mm. and the Bulldogs, I think, twice. He, kicked he wasn't afraid to swing a change in a game. Exactly. It, do something. Which we which... get frustrated by at the moment because yeah. you think it's nothing's going to change if you don't change anything. Like, and if you talk about... The definition of insanity, isn't it? If you're just expecting the same result. Yeah, correct. Mm. If you talk about leadership and a guy at a football club who's going to inspire and and do all that, there is no one else at the Essendon Football Club that would do that. No, he's the god. I reckon he's the godfather. Look, I, I don't know if he will, and I, I'm... No, I'm he didn't the, say if he will or not. Just... Yeah, I would love it. The, the stuff that I find interesting is that I've heard um, Sheedy, who's a board member, uh, say that he still thinks Heard is a very, very good coach and should coach again at a senior level. I would even be, and I don't know what this would do, if Heard came in as an assistant coach, would that put pressure on Truck to say, oh, well, if you fuck up next season, then we're just going to go to Heard? Like, is that would that be the the aura around it? You know, all the media would build that up. Because that I would love to have Heard back as assistant coach because I still think he's strategic, st- 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 you know the word. Strategically. Thank you. He's a very good strategic coach. Like, he, he's... He's smart. He's you know he he knows the game. Like you could see the way he played the game. That he saw the game really well. Yep. Like he got how to play the game. And if he can transfer some of that information to the players, like this is where you need to be. This is what you need to be doing. And I think he's got a good role in in our club. And look, I know I don't I don't often you know I don't love having a whole bunch of Essendon people at Essendon because I think it's important to get other ideas and other cultures. But I don't know. I'll always have a soft spot for James Hurd. It's, it's uh, uh, I mean, we all we all will because mm. it's it's Hurd. But yep. I think it's not it's not like Knights. You know, if Knights was an Essendon oh God, hero him. from the day oh and he got God, sacked because he was a shit so coach, much. we wouldn't be sitting here having that conversation. James Hurd. Have you heard the story about Knights and, and Hardwick? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, how they interviewed both interviewed and the board went with Knights because Knights told him that the list was better than what it was and then he can get him to finals, whereas Hardwick said the list is no good. To be, fair, to, somewhere. to be fair, Knight got us to finals in 09. We just lost by 94 points. Yeah, but I would have rather Hardwick. <laughs> he would have just ripped the guts Minor. out of the list and actually got some stuff. Minor quibble, that. Yep. Um, I don't know. It... Where do you, what do you think will happen from here? What are what are the sort of ideas on the any chat about what people think is going to happen? Uh, comments have dried up a little bit, so if you have an opinion, please please let me know in the comments there. Um, oh, truck coaches tomorrow night. Now it's too late to be What's shuffling that? that around. He's got an interview, a um, uh, media thing at the moment, so that'll be interesting to see what comes out of that. That's normal though. That is a normal. Yeah, yeah that's, but he's going to get asked thing. questions. Oh yeah, absolutely. But it's a normal. It's not a special. Thing because it's him or anything. No, no. Um, yeah, I guess that. Oh, there's a massive part of me that wants him. This is the result I want. That I want him to go on next year. I want us to win, say, twelve games, maybe win a final, and then build. Then the next year, win eighteen games, and then the next year from that up, that win a, You know what I mean? Like, and then go on to win a premiership, or you know, or play in a grand final. That'd be we'd call that success. Maybe win a flag, oh. and then and then you know, like we look back the, at this as another one of those um, Bomber Thompson, Hardwick's Goodwin, you know, moments where a coach nearly goes out the door and turns it around and becomes a premiership coach. Well, yeah, and you're right. We've seen that before with. Um, sorry, I'm just making sure I haven't lost any comments. Um, heard nearly got and I heard got heard on the brain. Bucks nearly got sacked from Collingwood. Hardwick could have been easily sacked from Richmond. Um, and then Bomber Thompson one. was had a massive review. Bomber at Geelong, yep. yep. So and Goodwin too. He was reviewed heavily. They were going to sack him after a horrible year. All I all I'm all I want to see is proper process around the decision making that we well the decision making when we get to that point to make that decision around what next year looks like. If they do the proper process, everything's hunky dory, and they go, "Yep, Ben, you are our man, and we have yep. full faith in you." Fine. Sorry about, sorry about the things that happened this week. But, he you know, he we'll would get on. that. Yeah. In that industry, he would go, "All right, I get why that might have happened." Like you'd have to understand that. 
Mm-hmm. If Alistair Clarkson wasn't available, it wouldn't have happened, probably. So, whatever. But well, the, and that's a funny thing too. Like, this is the thing I find still fascinating about this whole process. So, if Alistair Clarkson had, and wasn't, then we wouldn't be in this situation, would we? Would we be still? We'd be just no. having an external review, and we wouldn't have been looking at any other coaches because there's no one else there you'd talk to. The other thing too is we still have a coach signed for another year. Yet we're, again, we're the ones that have failed and not getting in, yet North Melbourne and GWS sacked their coach mid-year. And then the media is not attacking GWS for stuffing this up. Or how did GWS not get, get, not get Clarkson? How come, you know? Like, and you know why? Because Clarkson not, wants to stay in Victoria. Yeah, but they're not a big club. They're not going to sell papers. No one's going to buy the well, paper too, and read about yeah. GWS. No one gives a shit. Even Hurdy managed to get in up there. Nice and members and their pissy little ground up in Canberra. No one cares. Let's be honest. Move them to Tassie. Oh, that's where North are going. Oh, yeah, North are going. I'd love it if North end up moving to Tassie in five years. That'd be hilarious too. I'd find that. Oh, right, come for you. Especially if like Clarkson, uh, Clarkson pushed for it. Like, <laughs> Any other comments? I would love, yeah, I'm there for that. Um, Jamie again, just saying we'll spend the next six months in limbo, saying truck is still there. We'll finish the review fire truck after destroying him mentally and then find another caretaker coach where we should have swung big and gotten heard back because no one else, so no one was going to like what we did anyway. I agree with that no one's going to like what we do anyway, right? Don't do what people do. That's the thing about football and having 85,000 members. If you can get 85,000 members, probably half of them dogs, to be fair, to agree like actual dogs that wasn't a dig at anyone. Horrible Um, horrible people. (laughs) Actual dogs. You can't. They've got to run the football club how they think a football club should be run. I've got no issue with that. We're we're members and we sit here and can talk about it. You cannot buy your membership next year. But just just do do it properly. Do the review. That's fine. Yeah, do the review. Make your decisions. Release the review to members. Yeah, make, make it do an interim report. I love I love interim reports. Yeah. But um, I think that that information should come to the members. Like we should be saying, okay, here's what we we've found. Like they can, you know, redact some of it, you know, that might be, you know, personal, but here's sort of the the dot they points can just of the takeaway. generalized comments yeah. that we found the culture was lacking leadership was talking, lacking, you know, that, talking to players where they, they didn't the, the game style wouldn't work, you know, the, you know, that didn't work so they tried went back to a simpler process, you know, and all that sort of stuff. And because they can't release too much, because then other clubs get their yeah. hands on it and can use it against say, us. Dyson said, "Yeah, and this was the game plan, and this is why it didn't work. We, we can't yeah. that. Yeah, I don't need that sort of information." And the Rish but, and Rash podcast annoyed everyone. I Rish and Rash, you maybe get the hate that. for that. I don't get the hate for that. I really don't. I've never get listened that. to it. I've never listened. Yeah, to it. I, I don't listen to it. But there, well, there's all these people on Twitter who are like, "Oh, no, just stop using the bloody tw- thing, Rish and Rash in football club." I'm like, maybe it's a it. thing about four letter uh, nicknames because. Hell is now Rick. Yeah, Rick well, and Rath. exactly. You're not at the foot. I'd hate to tell you this, Twitter people, but you're not at the footy club. These aren't your mates. You think they are, but they're not. You don't really? actually know them intimately and have funny little nicknames it's... and know stories from your trips when you've gone to Bali with them. No, Sorry to it... break it to you. It's the same as our podcast. If you don't want to listen, don't fucking listen. Yeah. It's fine. If you want to no. listen, great. <laughs> just, just fucking let some shit go, people. Yeah. Um, and you know they're. People, they're humans just playing footy that might really enjoy doing a little podcast. So we might actually call each other Rick and Rash. I don't Rish, know. Rish, 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 whatever. Oh god, I got it wrong then. Um all right. Well, half an hour doesn't really seem like enough, but um apologize if you came here expecting a meltdown. I don't think we're that in melts. meltdown territory. We're not melters. We're, we're like melters. I want truck to stick it up everyone and be successful. That's what I want. If it means success, I'm I'm all there for that. I just want proper process, proper decision making, and I'll be happy. Whatever comes from it, I'll be happy. Um, and maybe a few angry deal listings would be nice too. But a few angry. Actually, while we're on that, this is one of the issues probably we should talk about with truck. So we lose by 87 points or 86 points against Port Adelaide, and the only out omitted. Is um Nick Bryant, who did get now, out by Pal Pepper, so I mean I get that he did. He but... he was pretty ordinary, and I'll I'll give you that. But I found it fascinating that that's and that that game with all those players playing the way they played, that you can only say there's two guys, there's one guy, one out of that team. Yeah, 
And especially when you've got uh, Menzi, who has been in good Played form in the a- yep. in the VFL for a, at least a month, came into an AFL side and looked pretty Super. comfy. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got Voss, who's been kicking a couple of goals a game for quite a while as well. Um, yeah, and this is what I went. We talked about with Heard the, 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 the ability to change stuff. He doesn't seem to want to change much, despite the fact we got absolutely embarrassed. Yep. Six days before all this game, like, what are your forecasts for the Richmond game? Ah, oh. embarrassing, you... or sh- will we put up a fight? If you were to put me on a debate team on either side of that argument, I could argue very passionately either way. I think we'll get pumped. I think well, Tom no, Lynch you have will to pick, pick a, you have to pick one side and and just go with that. I think we lose convincingly. You think that the result or the the way we play will have a lot to say about what's going on internally? Like if there's if we put up a fight, if it's a good game, you know, we lose by a few kicks because they are better than us, let's be honest. Then do you think that the support the players have the support truck? Do you, do you well, think that, or, or if there's no fight, we get flogged by eighty points, then truck has to go. If we get if we get belted, clearly there's no playing for the coach kind of scenario. Mm. But yep, um, you, it's the same as that Collingwood game. I'm happy to lose if we play decent football. That's fine, yeah, exactly. Especially against a team who is flying at the moment and mm. is better than us anyway. Hundred percent. No dramas losing. That I'm not expecting this to beat Richmond. It's how we play. It's how you play, exactly. If we play poorly and get absolutely romped, Lynch kicks 15 and wins the Coleman. Um, <laughs> and that's how we send Michael Hurley off. I'll be, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's another factor. I'll be pissed. But um, if we rock up, lose by a couple of kicks and just show something, show some sort of fight, have the players show some sort Crack of... In. Um, resistance and stand up for truck, their coach, you know. I, I, yep. I don't know. I really don't know. What do you think? What, what side are you on? I, I, I think a lot will be decided by the result. I mean, I, I, I'm i concerned that it'll be crap, but I believe it'll be good. And I think that if it's not good, then the truck truck will have to go at the end of, you know, the weekend. It will say so to me. It will say so much because we've seen it before um, that players, I think, have their way of showing their hand in a sort of slide way. You know, like of here's what we really feel. You know, they'll get interviewed by the media and they say, "Oh, we have full support for the truck. We have, you know, it's all full support." But when they go out and play like absolute spuds, then I think to me, it's saying that we don't actually really support him and we just can't be bothered. Yeah, and we, I, we will watch Hawthorne play this weekend, who are bottom, you know, team around our mark, and they've been playing really good hard football for their coach. So something's going right there. I did get belted by Richmond, but yeah, by and large, yeah, they still played well. I watched the game; they still weren't. It's just they don't have the quality players. Like, um, I think I don't. I don't want to see Truck get sacked as a result of that game. Like, I, like I keep saying, yeah. proper process, review it then make your decision based on all of that. Don't just make a decision based on even the last three weeks of football, the last season of football. Make the decision based on the whole review of the whole club and go with that. That's yep. what I can ask for. Yep. And maybe in 10 years' time, we'll be sitting here talking about how we won three flags and you know how good was it that we stuck with truck or how good was it that we went and got heard back or whatever yep hindsight will be a wonderful thing in the future because we'll sit back and we go we should have sacked truck or we lucky we kept him that'll be the that'll be the point like and it's a lose-lose really yeah yeah exactly because we look back on the matthew knights thing and we you know on the hardwick knights thing and go geez what could have been there you know not saying that because we got hardwick we would have won no no absolutely not but the the, his thinking was proven right yeah exactly um The, I mean, the, the other decision after that, Heard I had no problem with. Warsfold was fine, but, you know, we're in the situation we're in now and sometimes I think we have to just... I think we have to see out the next year, personally, is my view. And, and people are going to say, oh, but that's a waste of, you know, another year. But who are we going to get in between now and then? Like, are we going to get another coach? Like, there's no... Clarkson's gone, mm-hmm. so there's no one else. We'd just be getting a young, untried coach in. 
So oh, we yeah. might as well stick with the one we got that knows the group, unless the group totally hate him. The review shows and that the players why, hate that's him. That's yeah. why I want this review. Because if yep. they come back and say that, yeah, the playing group just have no faith in what they're being told, yep. then he can't. He can't. Yeah, he can't go on. Like and I don't think the players should have that much control. But, but you need a coach. In the end, that they are the team. They are the Essendon Football I Club. Can say, oh, you're out. And he clearly he doesn't. If that's the case, he doesn't have that. So, yep, I agree. 